Hey guys, welcome back to Mixed Media Style, a channel created for you by you. I am your host, Ronnie McBride. Today we're going to talk about frequency separation. Here is an image that I use this technique on um, to even out the uh, skin tones, to remove blemishes and pimples. And um, the benefit of frequency separation is that it separates the texture from the color of an image. So you can edit each part of the each part of that image um, based on the color or the blemishes without affecting the textures and of course uh, edit the textures without affecting the color tones here's the image um, after I'll show what it looks like before okay so just I mean her skin wasn't really bad at, at all really she's got really good skin I mean um, just, you know, typical things, you know, uh, just a couple of blemishes, maybe move, remove some lines, you know, um, a couple of pimples and things. But other than that, I mean, overall, her, her, her skin is not really bad at all. But we want her to look her best on that day. And we do so by using frequency separation. Okay, so that's one, one sample of me using uh, this technique. Another sample here is... Um, picture of an elephant a close-up image of an elephant and what I didn't like in the original was the fact that you know it had all this you know the crusty from the the crying and the tear ducts um, you know in this area that just you know took away from the picture itself so I use frequency separation to kind of clean that area up and uh, make this image a little, little bit better I could actually do a little bit more work on this but for the most part what was important was you have all these lines and all these all this detail and if you use the clone tool it just would not look as good as you'd hope okay so that's an extreme situation but today we're going to go ahead and we're going to start one from scratch really quick so i'm going to show you let's see let me just close that and actually let's do this um i'm going to go up to view and i'm going to open up my media browser and I'm gonna pick one of these images. Let's take this one here. Double click on that. Actually, let me just click and drag it out. Okay, so I'm gonna close my media browser. And uh, I get this little pop-up from Affinity Photo that says the uh, develop persona is still being actively developed and doesn't currently represent the UI. Okay, the final UI. So, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and close that out. And here's my image. Now, what we're looking at right now is we are in the develop persona. So what you need to know about these personas over here on the top is that it's kind of similar to work environments or a workflow idea, okay? So when I bring in a file, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna make some basic adjustments. I wanna adjust the white balance maybe, maybe the exposure, um, maybe a little bit of contrast, um, maybe perhaps some clarity. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna bump up the exposure a little bit here, not too much. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead to the black point and I'm just gonna increase my blacks just a tad, not too much there. Everything should be just very subtle. Okay, a few changes there. My white point, I might actually bring it up a little bit just to kind of warm up her skin. I mean, she's got nice warm skin as it is. And then I'm going to boost the clarity. Okay, and boosting the clarity, you see, is making these more apparent. But that's perfectly fine because we're going to clear that up. And then, you know what, I'm going to boost the vibrance here. Okay, and then if you look in these other tabs, very similar to your camera raw, you would have, you know, things, uh, features in here for... Uh, you know, lens correction, defringing, uh, you know, abbrevi um, abbreviation as, as well, chromatic abbreviation, you know, all these little basic tools, uh, noise reduction, all those tools that you would think uh, that you would find in camera raw are here in this particular mode. Once you've done, you made those basic adjustments, you're going to hit commit. Okay. And now we are in the photo persona and this is where we're going to start making our edits and this is where things are very similar to photoshop where you have all your tool set here okay so i'm not going to go into the detail of all of this interface i just wanted to show you how to get that image into um affinity photo and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the frequency separation
okay? So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click frequency separation from the filter pull down. And what you see here is you see these two images, the high frequency and the low frequency. In Photoshop, you had to do a few steps to create these files. It's great now that um, Affinity Photo has this actually kind of built into the filter um, as a feature. So what you wanna do is you wanna increase this so that you get some detail on this side, right? You wanna get all that detail separated. And on the opposite side, you wanna find kind of a balance where it's not too blurred, but it's just enough that the colors seem to blend into each other, okay? Once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and hit apply. And it's really quick. Um, Affinity Photo just now made my high frequency layer and my low frequency layer. Now, my low frequency layer is what I'm going to use to actually edit the color, and um, you know areas of that may have be um, of an issue with uh, blemishes or something like that. So, right here in this area, you know maybe I want to kind of blend that out. I think it, it might be hair makeup, it might be just the color variation in their skin, but I'm going to blend that out. Um, same thing down here. There's a difference between the color here on her face and the bottom of her chin. A um, little bit of a difference here under the eye. There's a dark spot. Okay, so we're going to go through and we're going to kind of correct those things. And we're going to do the corrections on the low frequency area. Okay, and I'm going to go over here, grab my freehand selection tool. And I'm going to go and I'm going to make a selection uh, right about here. And I'm gonna hit Q on my keyboard, and you see this is a hard selection because our our, our feathering is um, not what we want it to be. So I'm gonna hit Q again to get out of quick selection mode, and I'm gonna to go to um, my feathering, and I'm gonna switch that. I'm gonna crank that up. Okay, I'm gonna do a selection again. I'm gonna hit Q, and that's a, that's better. That's more what I want. I want this effect to kind of blend into her skin tones. Okay, so. What I'm going to go uh, go and do now is, now that I have that selection, I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and watch what happens as I turn the blur up. Do you see that the, the color is kind of blending out? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply that, that change, and I'm going to select another area uh, right here, okay? There's a little bit of a variation there. And because I already um, applied that filter once, I'm going to hit Command F, and it's going to just repeat the Gaussian Blur filter, okay? And then I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to select this area, and I'm going to hit Command F, all right? Right here, Command F, here, oops, down here, just go ahead and select this. That F, just kind of blending that out a little bit. Um, maybe right here under the I, I'm gonna hit Command F. Okay, so I'm just blending. If you turn off the high frequency, because it's the combine, it's averaging these two, these two layers. So if I turn it off, and you see that it's just, it's a blurred image. So it's just we're just dealing with the color information when we're editing that layer. And when you turn this layer on, that's what gives you the detail. Okay, so um, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Command F. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, so we have already see a big difference in her skin tones here. It's, it's much more even. Um, I might actually do that right here a little bit more. It's much more even now. Okay, so now let's take a look at the high frequency layer. And what I'm going to do with that one is um, if we turn this off, you can see this is where all the detail information is, right? And I'm gonna turn that back on, but I'm gonna make sure my high frequency layer is selected. And I'm gonna grab my clone tool. And I'm just gonna go over here, I'm gonna hold option to hit a target area. So, you know, I want things to have about this kind of texture right here. This area looks pretty good, right? And I'm just gonna head over here and I'm going to just start taking out some of these marks. And now make sure that you're on the high frequency layer, okay? If you're not um, making any edits and nothing, you're seeing no changes, it's because you're not on the high frequency layer. 
you may be on the wrong layer. So keep that in mind. And I'm actually going over some of these loose hairs. And you see, I'm not picking up. If I were using the clone tool and I was, um, you know, working on a, a single image, I would be picking up this this tone information, and that would be coming with uh, the edits that I'm making. So, you know, if I go here, I'm just get rid of rid of this hair information here. Some of these flyaways, and you see this little tone issue that I'm having here you switch to the low frequency and we go back to my um, loop selection tool and select this area hit command uh, F up oh, I had to reset that hold on um, Gaussian blur turn that blur up and you see it's fading away because I'm blurring those pixels. Okay, I hit apply, deselect that. Um, and I have a bit of a hard edge. And the reason why I have a hard edge, again, is because I need to move my feathering up again. Okay, and then just make that selection again. And then repeat the, the blur. Okay, so I don't now it feathers nicely. Command F. Okay. So we've cleared up our skin. We've left in some of the uh the other detail here. I'm gonna go back and I could I can get in here a little bit more. You know, some of these areas here. Oops. Sorry. Need to be on my high frequency layer. Remember, that's where the detail is. And I'll just get in here and you know clean up some of that other stuff. So I can go in here and I could get some more more detail in here, but I'm feeling pretty good about that. The only other thing I might might do is I might do a little uh, dodge and burn right here, just to bring back um, a little dark shadow in here to accentuate the tone of her her cheekbone in that area. Um, other than that, I think I'm feeling pretty good. And that's how you would basically use the um, frequency separation technique. There we go, yeah. To clean up skin. So, you know, I'm still keeping all these other little details in the skin. I'm not getting rid of everything. And, um, you know, and our image looks a lot better. So... If we go back up here and let's see, let me do um, a snapshot from the background, which was the original image. And bring that to the top so you could see. That's our before. Here's our after. Okay. So that's frequency separation, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, you could tweet me at Mixed Media Salad or you could send me an email or leave a comment below. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to receive 50% off my training, make sure you sign up at MixedMediaSalad.com.